Hello, this is Brother Kromer from the Maths Department. I'm going to show you how to do a split plot repeated measures using SPSS and R. First of all, here is the data set, the hamster data set, where we have the whole plot factor day length. Then we have the whole plot, which is hamster. And then we have a split plot, which is the split plot factor, which is uh, Oregon. And we ha now, how we do this in SPSS is that we have to divide up the two different levels into two different columns of, of the Oregon heart and brain go in the two separate columns. And so what we do with this is that we go to analyze general linear models univariate. And so what I'm going to do, oh excuse me, not univariate, I'm going to go to analyze, let me try that again, repeated measures, that's what I meant to do. And then I'm going to call the within the within subject factor or the with or the or the subplot factor which is Oregon. I'm going to type that in here. Number of levels since we have heart and brain is two. And I'm going to add that measure name that's the response variable so I'm going to just put in enzymes here I'm going to add that I'm going to click on define and then with the within subject factor the subplot factor I'm going to put in heart for the first level and then brain for the second level and then lastly I'm going to include day length which is our between subject factor our whole plot factor I'll put that here and then we'll have our results if I click on OK what you'll see here is a whole bunch of output, but the ones I want to focus in on is two of the last three tables on the bottom here. This is where we get our results for our, this is the table where we can get the within plot factor or the subplot factor, which is Oregon, as well as the interaction between the whole plot factor and the subplot factor, Oregon and day length, or day length is our whole plot factor, Oregon is our subplot factor, so the, sub the interaction here. Now these ones we get our, P, our, our F test and our, and our P value here, but where we get the uh, F test and our P value for the day length is down here. This is a between subject or the whole plot factor day length, and we take our degrees of, so we take our result here, we take our mean square of day length divided by mean square. Now this is mean square of hamster, which you'll see in just a moment, and this is our F test, which is our 3.6, and our P value, which is 0 0.17. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to do this in R. Okay. Now what I have here is I have the hamster data. This is the hamster data in R. And notice here, if you compare this to the data what we have here in, S in SPSS, the, the, uh, it's in two columns, but notice here we have heart in one column, brain in another column. Here we have organ name, which is heart and brain in one column, and then we have the response in another column. So how you format this in R and SPSS is a little bit different. Now how we're going to do this is that, in, and you can get this code, and there's two ways to do a subplot or split plot design in R, but I'm going to focus in on the second one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a split plot where I have the, res where um, I'm going to call up uh, the analysis of variance, and I'm going to, uh, the model will be the response equal to the day length, which is our whole plot, plus hamster, or whole plot factor, and then hamster, which is the whole plot and then day length and organ. Now when you do this what will happen is, is that you will get the organ effect as well as the interaction between day length and organ which is day length being our whole plot and organ being our subplot factor. Now when I run this, notice what happens here. If I submit this and run this I will get this table right here. Okay. Now, now everything, most of this table is fine. It's set for one item which is day length. Okay. Now normally by default what, it, uh, what, S, what R does is that it takes whatever factor when you're calculating the F, it takes the mean square divided by the residuals. Okay. Now with most of these, with these three rows here, you're fine. In fact, when you look at the results, when you look at Oregon and day length and you compare it to the results that you got here in SPSS, it matches. Okay. When you look at Oregon, you get an F value of 574 that matches this here. The interaction 12.835 that matches here, and you get the right F. It's a little bit of rounding here, but you get the right P value. But day length, on the other hand, that does not match. So how do we get it to match here? But what? So what we need to do is is that we need to take the mean square of day length divided by the mean square of hamster to get the right result, since hamster is our subplot. Uh, or not our subplot, but our whole plot. And so if we do this, so you have to do kind of a workaround in R. So what I do here is that I create a, I, I create a value. I take 144 divided by 40 and then get my F. Okay, now if I just if I just show you, if I just mark F and then click on submit, I get an F of 3.6, which matches this right here. And then finally to get the P value, I would just take this where I have um, my F statistic and then my one degree of freedom which is this and then my that's my numerator and then my denominator degrees of freedom which is six and put that here 
click on submit and then that would be my p-value which matches more or less our p-value down here and with the second example what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dog diabe diabetes data and so what I have here is I have two different conditions here this is dogs that are control and then dogs that are that had had an operation where they re, where they remove their pancreas so that it, it simulates diabetes, and then there's two methods to do do a surgery, or do some type of operation inject and infuse, and so inject so this is the type of operation this is our within plot factor and the condition is our whole plot factor this is subplot excuse me operation is our subplot factor, and condition the is is our whole plot factor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this again where I'm going to do general linear models univariate and then I'm going to, uh, not univariate, that's the second time I've done that, so I'm going to do general linear models repeated measures and so I'm going to call this inject infuse, I'm going to call this operation the number of levels is 2, I'm going to add that and then the measured name I'm just going to call it response Okay. I'm going to add that and I'm going to click on define and then I'm going to put in the two levels of um, operation. I'm going to put inject here. I'm going to put infuse here. And then my my so that's my whole my subplot here. So the two levels of my subplot. Then I'm going to take my whole plot or my or my between subjects factor and put that here. And then I'm going to click on OK. And then you get the results here at the very bottom, where you get the results of the subplot factor. That's our F test statistic and our p value. And then this here is our F statistic and our p-value for the for the interaction. And then this down here, this is our whole plot factor. That's the F test for it, and then and then the p-value for it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to do this in R. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to data. Let's see, active data sets. Select active data sets. So now I'm going to do diabetic dog here. And so now I have diabetic dog. If I view the data set, you see that it looks like this. And more or less, now now what we have is we have inject and infuse in terms of the different types of operations in one column. We have dog in one column as well, the 10 different dogs. And then we have the response in a separate, co separate column as well too. Whereas in the SPSS data set, we had them separated out into two different columns. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this data set using the code that uh, is in that is that is a, that is that you have a link to that in the quiz 6c um, page in, in iLearn and so I'm going to use this I'm going to use this right here so I'm going to run this analysis where I have method as I is my whole plot dog a uh, whole plot factor and dog is my whole plot and then the interaction here where it includes my interaction plus the subplot which is which is uh, operation. So if I click on submit, I get this table again. Now this table, everything's fine with this table. It's set for, including this is fine here as well too, it's set for method. Because method, what we have to do is we have to take the mean square of method divided by the mean square of dog to get our right, um, at our F test statistic as well as our p-value. So what I'm going to do now is, is that I'll take my 320, this is where I get down here, divided by 63.5, click on submit, then if I just mark F, then I sh it shows you my F test statistic, which matches, if I can pop this up here, which matches what I have down here, 5.039, okay? And then from here what I do is, is that I, to get my p-value, I use this, I get I put in my F argument here, which is, in this case, is 5.039, my degrees of freedom being 1 for my numerator, and then my degrees of freedom 8 for the denominator, which is what you see here for dog. And then when I click on submit, then I get my p-value, which matches my p-value down here. So that's two. So I just showed you, with two different data sets, how to do a split plot repeated measures design using both SPSS and R.